Hello everyone, welcome to Johnny's NASDAQ YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you a third party software, Defender UI, which you can use it to better manage your Windows built in and divider solution, Defender. If you search Defender, you'll find the best match is Windows Security since Microsoft have changed their name for its antivirus product to the Windows Security and put everything on the list Windows Security title. So even the firewall and the network protection is already on the list Windows Security page. I have been using Defender for many years and happy with its performance, even the protection rate. Based on the recent malware protection test result from AV Comparatives on March 2022, you will find out the protection rate is 99.96%. Even in its report, you will see one disappoint part is offline detection rate is only 60%. That means if your machine is not constantly connecting to the internet, Using Microsoft built-in Defender solution may be an issue. But if you have constantly internet connection, the online detection rate and the protection rate is good enough. When I use Microsoft Defender, I found one thing always confusing me is the which protection option should I enable. Sometimes it's not easy to find out the right place to adjust your configuration. With Defender UI, this profile-based solution for Microsoft Defender, you can easily pick a profile for your situation and apply all settings in once to your Defender. So now let's start it to go into deep to see how Defender UI works. To download and install Defender UI is very simple. Google Defender UI or search Defender UI. You will find it from your first uh, search result. Click on it, you will go to its website www.defenderui.com. Right away, you can see download free. This software only one Mac bytes and installation. It's as simple as just three clicks then you will get it. Agree the agreement, then finish the installation. You can find it from your Windows program, Defender UI. Right away, they will show you four profile-based option to customize your Defender settings. By the way, this software also supporting multiple languages. If you want to choose another language, click right away. It will change to your selected language to show you the option. So there are four built-in profiles to meet most of the user's requirement, recommended, interactive, aggressive, default. So default settings is Microsoft default factory settings. So we will start from here and then we will see what's the difference between those profiles. So by default, you will see so real-time protection, cloud deliver protection, Windows file, all been enabled. To disable those settings, it's pretty simple. Just a one click away, you can easily disable the Defender and the Firewall and those cloud delivered protection as well. 
just one click one switch then you can disable it you also able to make the option enable disable from the icon right click the defender ui icon you can enable all just one time then all settings are gonna be enabled you also can start full scan and quick scan from the right click right click the icon windows firewall you have to manually enable disable it that's because of a uh, temper protection has been enabled so if that disabled then you can fully control it through the ui interface other than these settings you will see the scanning now option you can do quick scan custom scan offline scan and then update signatures also you can reset signatures if there's a problem for your machine to get signature update something i like is add the exclusion so you can manage your exclusion from here right now i don't have any exclusion set it up yet once you click utility it will open the windows security settings like exclu exclusions page then you can add file add a folder into your exclusion list once you did that you can manage exclusion from here and directly remove an exclusion from this list much simple much easy to find out those settings comparing you go into windows security settings page it's not that intuitive to use comparing to this page you also will can you can see the protection history and the quarantine folders as well the common used settings all been in the first page here you can set it up start with windows the defender ui settings or you can choose dark mode set up the transparent percentage for your settings for the prevent malware from ever infecting this system actually this is their advertisement link which is going to show you their another antivirus product voodoo shield i haven't been used voodoo shield before but based on the feedback it seems like a pretty good antivirus product as well for the basic page it shows you all those basic antivirus configurations i won't go through all of an advanced asr rule and the defender guard but the one thing I like to show you is the difference between those default profile, recommended profile, interactive profile, aggressive profile. So right now we are using default. If you go into recommended, you will see some settings have been automatically enabled. Go into interactive profile, there's not much change in this page, but if you go into aggressive, then the controlled folder access also being enabled let's go to advanced we go to default profile those settings has been put into default but if you're going to recommend it there's different settings here interactive profile not big change aggressive here they will quarantine all low thread mode delete thread as well go to asr rules for all those asr rules it will be set to disabled in the default profile recommended most will be on if interactive profile they will gonna 
warn you when they found the threat for aggressive or of their own. Defender guard, those are preventing your defender settings to be changed. If you want to disable your defender, then in 10 minutes, most likely they will re enable real time protection, cloud delivered protection, and Windows firewall. It's all to reactive. By default, all those has been set. And it's the same settings for all profiles. So the most difference is in the ASR rules. I would strongly suggest to use a recommended profile. It's providing much better protection comparing to Microsoft default profile. So if you are using Microsoft Defender, then I would suggest that you download Defender UI to tune your security settings for your Defender, which I believe you will feel much safer when you're using your computer with under the defender's protection. So that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video and find this video has some useful information, please give me a thumb up. Subscribe my channel if you haven't. See you in my next episode.